In this video, I'm going to paint my Nissan Altima matte white using flash dip. So these are the materials you're going to need. You're going to need strainers, paint mixers, trash bags, container tape, masks to be safe, um, the opening thing, bucket, and I'm not adding a gloss, I'm just going to keep it matte, but what I'm going to do is, I have two gallons, I got them from a warehouse actually, um, wicked cheap, I got it for like $50, $55 each, um, overnight shipping, it was like, it was awesome, so what I'm going to do, these are pre-thinned, unthinned, I'm going to mix both of these into the bucket, and then I'm going to actually double how much plastic if I have by thinning it. The thinners that I'm using is 50% xylene and 50% VMNT. Um, the ratio that you should go with is for every one gallon of dip, you're going to add 50% this and 50% of that. So let's get mixing. Actually, one last thing that you'll need is going to be a paint bin, of course. So this is the car we're going to be painting. It's my blacked out Nissan Altima. Kind of got sick of the black, so we're going to go with white. Alright, so we're just about done masking. This is what the windows look like. I'm not bothering uh, masking everything because I'm just going to peel the uh, plastic dip right off the edge. Go with this side, right here. I got the wheels masked. I masked this tail light, a part of it, because this actually touches the fender, so I don't want that sticking to that. I'm actually going to keep my top black, so I'm going to mask the top. There you go. I'm going to mask this as well with the bag. Mask that. The lip I masked. The grill. And I'm going to have to get rid of this decal. Quick tip for you guys who want to do this. This method is going to save you about $70 because if you didn't know, this stuff is wicked expensive. It's like a gallon of paint, so it costs. I got this from a warehouse. I'll link it in the description. $55 for this. Well, each of them. And if you're going to do, it's recommended that you do four gallons for your car. So dip the whole car, like five coats. I do not want to spend... $220 on share of Plasti Dip. So I got two gallons and I got the pre thinned, unthinned two gallons, and I'm gonna thin it myself and save myself $70 because this costs 20 Actually, this one costs like 15 Some stores 12 if you find it. And xylene costs $18. So I'm gonna save myself a lot of money doing it this way. And yeah, let's do it. So for every one gallon of Plasti dip, you're going to do a 50-50 mixture of VMNT and xylene. So I'm going to do, for this gallon, since I have two, do it easy. One gallon for VMNT, one gallon for xylene. So let's do it. Another tip, try to do this indoors because it's kind of windy outside. If you have a garage, that's even better. Dumped in the bucket. See how thick that is?
now you have yourself four gallons of xylene, um, four gallons of plastic ink for the price of two. I'm just gonna mix it up. Okay, so the car is 100% masked. The rear view mirrors, make sure it's not touching the bottom. Front windshield, the grill, which you already saw. Oh, but I'm actually going to remove the license plate. And yeah. All right, so this is after two and a half coats. I'm loving it. It's got a charcoal gray look to it. Problem I've encountered is bugs sticking to it. So invest in a garage before you do this. I'm honestly happy leaving it like this if I had to, other than the streaks on the hood, because that's only like two coats. But I'm wicked happy. This is the sixth coat. I'm loving it. Still kind of streaky. I'm gonna add probably, to be honest, these six more. A lot of people recommend like six to five, five to six, but I have almost a half a gallon, uh, two gallons left. So I'm gonna do that. A few parts are textured, I've noticed, which I'm not too happy about. And if you see this, it was wet when I started spraying it, so that kind of ruined it a little, but it's very minor. Like, I did that on accident. These dots right here, but whatever. It's my first time. And it's looking really good. I'm really excited to see how it's going to look. Alright, we're finished. I added 13 coats, about. 13 coats. Um, it looks, it looks beautiful. the bugs like it some problems I encountered were pieces of grass sticking to it some bugs like legit bugs though and like another piece of grass I can't see it's too bright um, there's a spider stuck to the door somewhere right here but it looks really good we're gonna start peeling it now and let's see Oh my god, it's gonna look so nice. And this is why you add a lot of coats. It makes the peeling process so much easier. Get a nail under it, rub it a little with your thumb. It's a little quick tip. 
Well, not a tip, but let me show you something. This headlight, I have black eyelids that stayed on. Mm -hmm. But this one is peeling off. That's unfortunate. I gotta do white eyelids now, though, so I'm not mad. Alright guys, we're just about finished. It looks beautiful. I couldn't be happier. I gotta peel this still. It's gonna be black. I'll do another loop around. Close ups. I mean it when I say beautiful. It's an investment, but it's totally worth it. Oh, I love it. With the white eyelids that I'm going to put on it, it's going to be complete. Alright guys, that's it. If I can ask you guys to give me a thumbs up and like this video, it really means a lot. And yeah, thank you.